and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of A Tale of Blood and Honor. Just a really awesome deck name. Uh, a deck that I wasn't really sure how to name it at first because, you know, we don't really... It's, we have Fiora and Katarina and Garen, so it's hard to name it after the champions. Um, you know, so we're just going with this. You know, we have our Noxus in here uh, with our blood cards and Honor, of course, with our Demacia cards. Um, so pretty cool. Basically, what we have here is we have a deck with a bunch of challengers and some support uh, with, like, Legion Drummer. Uh, Bright Seal Protector is not exactly a support card, but, you know, it does help support. We got cards like that. Um, and, you know, we're just going to be trying to control combat. We're going to be doing a lot of striking with Concerted Strike, Whirling Death, uh, Single Combat, all of those cards. Um, and we have cards that really reward us for striking with Garen, of course, but then also trying to get some kills with Fiora. Um, just, just basically playing good stuff, playing kind of a new version of Demacia. Um, a lot of Lee Sin running around, so I feel like Challengers are a good way, and a lot of Bastion, I guess, that's really the more, more thing, a lot of Bastion running around, and Challengers are good against Bastion, because we're not playing spells to kill stuff, which I guess we still are, you know, a single combat and concerted strike. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what our, our deck's all about, and get extra attacks with Katarina. Katarina's just a really good late game finisher, that's what it's in here for. Pretty cool deck. All right, so let's go ahead and play five games over in ranked. Something a little different. We'll be playing the control like we did the other uh, couple of decks today. Feel pretty good about this deck. And we got the three Radiant Guardians in our deck to help out against uh, the burnt, you know, the, the burn decks. Because that could be a problem, decks that go underneath us. Uh, we also don't have, like, the most card advantage to... Uh, stay alive through a whole bunch of invoke cards and everything so we're gonna have to try to control the board with our champions and with our uh, challengers so legion drummer into protege that's awesome mulligan katarina we don't need that for a really long time and we're just gonna mulligan the other legion Dr drummer we don't really need a second one of those okay i like that whirling death Not too fancy. Like, this deck isn't fancy. But it's still very effective. Break their spirits and their swords. Ouch. I was thinking that they were going to be going for... Um, <clears throat> the 1-2 with Sunburst. Or not, I always say Sunburst. With Daybreak. The one two at daybreak. I thought that's what that's what was gonna be their plan this turn. Uh, but that was perfect. Oh, really? Rangers resolve. Now you show up. <laughs> Typical. Yep, they had the priestess. Well, this is. Disappointing. I really need my. I really need a challenger to go with all this stuff. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Especially how our hand is designed. Strength there we go. Grace, beauty in the play. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. The sun's splendor reveals. They're going with the all stun stuff. You're covered. You call this a fight? Aha. End round. So we can have our bright steel protector block. If we would like. Fiora. That's a good draw. Fiora could do a whole lot for us. No. Uh, so, yeah, Repose doesn't Repose doesn't do anything there. Um, so I guess I single combat and take out like the 
Life Steal or the Elusive, one of the two. Is that two, two out of four? Now three out of four. Oh, did that not have the daybreak anymore? After they played that other card. So could I, could I have reposted and kept that thing, kept my Fiora alive? Well, I mean, I guess I couldn't because single combat. No, so it would have died. So no, I could not. I don't know. I guess I was expecting the Silver Sister to block something. I, I wanted to use Whirling Death right there. That's what I wanted to do. I guess I I guess I, I still could have just used Whirling Death. I should have just done that. Alright, that's my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have just used Whirling Death. For conquest! For empire! Alright, that was my bad. So by playing that means I'm not playing Radiant Guardian. Annoyingly efficient house spiders. Show them the might of Noxus. Their pride will cost them. To victory. So this would mean if they want to. Uh, uh, kill any of th these things in even combat, they would have to use their Silver Sister there. Um, that doesn't make much sense. We should just kill the Silver Sister like this. It makes a lot more sense. Even though they, c they can use the House Spider to, to kill one of my Legion Drummers. Unless I play one of these. Um, but I don't think that we do. I think we let one... Trade away one Legion Drummer for all four of those. Keep our spells. Virtue guides me. And be able to play Radiant Guardian. Master, I was wondering I wonder why they passed and didn't play Swain first. I wonder about that, but. Okay, so they didn't play they they didn't play the Swain we knew about, so we know that they have this ravenous block. So we can try to plan around the Ravenous Block a little bit. The best that we can. They got three cards, I got two. Remember why we fight. I demand satisfaction. Run them through. Honor guide me. Hardly fair. Aha. Not sure if this attack makes the most sense. 
We're gonna do it. If it works, we kill everything. If it doesn't work. Then that's not great. Hey, Robin's out of here. They don't get the extra daybreak bonuses all the time. I kind of wonder if we just shouldn't have Radiant Guardian in here. If Radiant Guardian needs to be uh, one, you know, the the five mana challengers, um, you know, between the dragon and I don't know, basically Radiant Guardian's great against the the Bilgewater Noxus decks. Besides Bilgewater Noxus, I don't really like Radiant Guardian anywhere else. We did draw all three Raiding Guardians and no Garen's. I do like Garen a lot more. For like this kind of matchup. Yep. Each journey is a discovery. Invoke just pulls just pulling ahead. Blade. Ultra Fairy and Glory Seeker is a good draw. We know they either have, okay, I was gonna say, they either have a large Leona or a large burn Swain like in their the hand. Sun, you must burn like it. The dawn has arrived. Carry her lights across the mountain. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Still on 19. Always two steps ahead. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. That was that was a card that Robin just created. Kind of sneaky good in that game were those house spiders, right? Like that that turn that we were were really planning on uh, pulling ahead the double house spider. That was kind of sneaky good. But then you know, Robin and Solari Priestess just generated too much value, and I I just don't have the kind of card advantage. Radiant Guardian looked very poor, uh, especially for a five mana card. It was very very poor. This is the kind of matchup where this is the one matchup where where I love Raiding Guardian. This is the this is the kind of deck where I love that card. Not sure about Whirling Death. Me. <laughs> so you know we'll we'll have our other top end cards besides the Raiding Guardian. Then because of that, this time. Um... We march as one, an unstoppable force. To victory! Cool. All hands on deck! Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Wish I had that one mana for the transfusion. Or, you know, I wish I had Ranger's Resolve. This is why we have, you know, like Ranger's Resolve and. Ooh, cool. Ranger's Resolve. Single combat, okay. A little surprised they didn't play like a Mega Rain. Like, assuming they have Mega Rain. Yeah, why didn't they just do that last turn? Why did they give me this quick attack? Honestly, doesn't really make sense. Wait, maybe just work. Let's just Whirling Death. 
Yeah, let's just Whirling Death that thing. There's plenty of killing left. No, nope, no killing left. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Gotta go with the flow. Garen. For justice. For Demacia. So we'll wait. Could single combat there, but then they can fervor in response. Alright. We'll take that. And definitely planning on playing Genevieve Elmhart first. You can also auto heal these things. It's annoying. I guess it won't have single combat. Stay resolute. I'll defend these boys. Get those over one health in case of Twisted Fate red card. Alright, passing over to me. Their pride will cost them. Jeez. Justice triumphs. I think with that game, or Leona, I think with that game we kind of showed how our deck can control the board. Okay, do not want Radiant Guardian. Concerted Strike, awesome against Lux and Leona, but not for like a long time. Maybe I, no, I should probably still just keep Concerted Strike. I do want to curve out. But it's just so good against the champions. All the spells. <laughs> Man, we we're just Legion Drummer Protege dot deck. All three games so far. And we drew another Concerted Strike. I'm, I'm making it look like that's all we have, or just Legion Drummers and, <laughs> and Proteges. And it, and it does look like we have tons of spells in our deck, right? Like how all these games have played out. I only have 12. So less than a third of the deck. You would not know that by looking at these games. That we only have 12 spells. There's half of them. All right, so we can stop this a myriad of ways. Maybe Whirling Death. We'll keep Repose, where Repose can pair up with Protégé to kill larger things. Two single combats gone. We both have six cards, but we also have a protege in play. Daylight, everlasting. No going back. Katarina is a good mana sink. Devotion to battle. Probably worth it. Alright, first first damage. They're down to fifteen. In her 
radiant blessing. No going back. Think they're going like Pale Cascade here. Cool. I like that. Those Radiant Guardians haven't looked very good. The one matchup there for we we won without them. They are light shine forever. Justice will be served. I don't love just playing Katarina attacking. We'll play this Radiant Guardian, get another body in here so that whenever we're doing multiple attacks we can do some more Nexus damage to them. So we can just have some backup mana with our repost, or backup things with our repost. That was good for them. Now Protégé is a 5-3 challenger if we want to attack again with Katarina. Clad in shining sunlight. Not my favorite. Let the blood shed begin. Alright, so we'll have the Katarina strike the Solari Shield Bearers, so then it will get recalled. And then it doesn't die to that meteor thing. Alright, they're down to eight. Nine mana now, so we got Katarina plus Concerted Strike. Never. Didn't they just put themselves dead? They're just dead to Katarina. That was a weird play. Because now they're dead. They just do that, hit him for eight, and they're at eight, and. All right, GG's. Yeah, really nice having that mana sync with Katarina. I kept that Concerted Strike, never ended up casting it. I never had Lux. So we, we, my deck's definitely designed to beat smaller decks and just like your Bilgewater Noxus kind of decks. Uh, big ramp decks, not so much. This is going to be a difficult matchup for us. I don't dislike any of these cards. Repose could be really important on these, but it's very, this is a very slow hand. But these are, these are like the powerful cards that we're gonna need, our, our champions with Genevieve Elmhart and Garen. Who does not know the name Laurent? Yeah, this is a cool voice line. Let the bloodshed begin. One from the spider. Right, two two proje. I like that. For king and country. Hmm. I don't like that. Garen was. Uh, the most important card. Did not like that. To meet you. Oh. Well, it's not ice to meet you, Trundle. By my honor, you must die. Got your back. 
So I wonder if they're gonna have Ice Quake. <sighs> Hope not. Follow my lead. And have Rangers resolve, but the biggest part, the biggest problem with the Ice Quake would probably be the minus three, minus zero. Um, I guess I would, I would do three damage to Trundle though. Trundle is so hard to kill, especially whenever you start just playing a whole bunch of troll chants and everything like this. It's so hard to kill this card. Everything I've worked for. My deal is yours. So then we're gonna go this route to keep. Genevieve Elmhart at 4 health. I could have Genevieve Elmhart at 1 health and go the other way around, and, and we could keep. We could have Genevieve Elmhart at 1 health and Protege at 2 health. Um, but let's just keep Genevieve at 4 health. Alright, so we both have 5 cards in hand, They, have, you know, but then they also have the Ice Pillar, and then I have these two things in play. I'm worried about playing, you know, like if I just uh, try to give that a barrier and then they, you know, they could just do any, you know, so many things to break up that barrier. Like that. impossible to kill. I don't need troll chant. Remember Things me. are already impossible to kill. You're covered. Honor guide me. Oh yeah. Looks like they got this game. I needed that to work and kill this Trindamir. Still probably have this. Radiant Guardian, unfortunately, is still going to do nothing. I kind of feel like Radiant Guardian has to be something else. It's got to be one of the five mana challengers, right? I smell a fight. Great. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Yeah, that's why I kind of feel, yeah, I feel like it's got to be Screeching Dragon or, um, or the other, or the other one, uh, the 5-4. The 5-4 is also really good. Radiant Guardian has just been horrible. It's just, Radiant Guardian is so good against the Bilgewater Noxus decks, but I guess, like, that's already what our deck is designed to... Our deck's already designed to be good against those decks anyway. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, got paired against the burn deck. That makes sense. All right, so basically with this game, well, we're, we're, we tried out one change. Tried out replacing Radiant Guardian for Kato. 
uh, or Kato the arm. Sorry, Kato. Um, replacing it with Kato the arm. Basically, uh, Kato the arm is going to be really good at pressuring late game decks of you know ending games a lot faster against late late game decks, and can also have these challengers be able to trade up a lot easier. Um, so that's why I wanted. So I wanted to try that out because I feel like that's going to be our biggest weakness. But then again, now we're facing a burn deck with a bunch of nexus damage. Uh, Radiant. This is a matchup where we need Radiant Guardian. So <laughs> makes sense. Yep. Hey Kato. Uh, instantly, instantly punished for the trade. Could not have been punished faster. Really could not have been punished faster. Break their spirits and their swords. Don't mind me. Defend the Empire. Time to go. So I kind of feel like they have Vile Feast. Um, but our Glory Seeker would die to Vile Feast anyway. That egg. Did it now they just got a bunch of hapless aristocrats. We speak with My plan was definitely to go Protector on the Drummer and Glory Seeker, but adding up uh, damage, or, you know, adding up kills for Fiora, that's exactly where we want to be against a small unit deck. So, like, like usually the burn, you know, your burn decks are going to have a lot of small units, and, like, your Fiora and Protege are going to be good against those still. Maybe just kind of split them and go like one Radiant Guardian to Kato's. To victory. Run them through. Oh God. Hardly fair. That's not that's a burn that's not a burn spell going upstairs at my face. Formation. What did what did they discard? Oh, I guess Ravenous Butcher. Okay, yeah, they discard Ravenous Butcher. Okay. Maybe they missed. No. I'll let y'all know whenever we play against somebody who misses with Stalking Shadows. It'll be the first time, as I have said. Plenty. All right, Kato. Who gets Glory Seeker. Secure the kill. First one's free. Ooh, that's a great blocker. Got your back. That's a great blocker. This doesn't work of like whirling death something else and then and glory seeker overwhelms with the whirling death that that doesn't work. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna happen. Basically, single combat concerted strike. These are gonna be for like Neverglade collector, Phantom prankster, those kind of cards. GG's. See, Kato still did its job. As I expected. So maybe try that instead. Maybe try Kato the Arm over Radiant Guardian. Um, we had two wins against aggressive decks, and neither neither time did we have Radiant Guardian. Obviously, we didn't have it in our deck that last game, um, but we didn't have it before that either. So I think that could help out, because, yeah, where we're going to struggle the most is against those late-game decks, and Kato can put a lot more pressure on them with that Overwhelm. So that could work. Um, other options, of course, 
are Screeching Dragon and a Swiftwing Lancer. Both those cards are awesome. You could definitely play those too. Swiftwing Lancer being a good challenger that uh, produces a random elite. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get like Cythria the Bold, but that's still just a good good card against uh, like whenever games are going longer. But I feel like I feel like trying to compete with like on card advantage with the games that are going longer aren't really isn't really going to be our style. So I think Kato makes a lot of sense to end games fast. Could go like more Grizzled Rangers as well. Um, that's it's another thing, so I, I'm not playing any four many units. So you could have you could have Grizzled Rangers in to fit the curve, but I haven't been that impressed with Grizzled Rangers recently. A lot of one damage things running around, and I don't know the three four bodies kind of whatever. And Kato could be pretty sweet. All right, so there we go. Again, nothing too fancy about this deck, but I think it's just efficient and pretty strong. And if you like controlling combat and everything, I recommend it. These Noxus cards are good. Glory Seeker. We saw Katarina do some good work. Um, and yeah, now adding in Kato in here as well. And a Legion Drummer with the uh, with the Challengers. We saw Legion Drummer do a lot of work. Um, good replacement for Warships. All right. Uh, but yeah, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to let me know what you think of Kato the Arm or anything else about the deck, anything about the new cards. Um, you know, anything at all. I love seeing the comments. But thank you so much for watching A Tale of Blood and Honor, and I'll see you for the next video.